I just went with Ackman Garage. Uh, I'll talk to you today why the uh, Porsche 997 4S is the perfect road car. We're on our way back from San Francisco. My son and I have been traveling for the last, broke up into a couple days. And so I figured I'd give you a little overview on what my experience has been. We just bought this two days ago. Uh, it was a used 997 cab, uh, like I said, 4S. I sought out an automatic. Um, I've got some manual cars in the collection and I specifically want an automatic on this one. Just to, I believe it gives me a, a better car for road trips, specifically when you're going through the big cities. Um, we had to go through stop and go traffic in San Francisco and I plan to use this up in Portland and Seattle quite a bit and so I never wanted to hesitate to take this car. And the thing that I have with my other cars is when I know their manuals, you know, I just always hesitate because I know there's going to be traffic and so I specifically didn't want that. So um, this one has the Tiptronics, uh, not like most people on YouTube, not a fan of the thumb controls. I got used to them, took a little bit, I've bumped them a couple times and it would shift me down. Um, the uh, Just putting in a drive and drive is the easy way. I find that the car wanted to shift down gears a little bit um, up when I was just cruising lightly up through the mountains. So I ended up putting it to slide over, put it into manual, and then I can sh downshift, upshift, and it will hold those gears for me. That came in handy when down the, some of the windy roads that we'll show in this video that we were running the river line, it's falling the river up, and some really nice, beautiful roads, tight corners, 20, 35 mile an hour corners. Uh, it worked really well with that. I was able to sit there and, and shift the gears. Uh, a couple of features of this car, uh, it really is more of a luxury sports car, so, and that's what I was looking for. It was um, the back and drive. It's, it's got the PASM. So it allows it, I use that in the corners when they start getting tight, it drops the car half an inch, gives you better throttle, throttle response, better shifting. I was manually shifting there, would hold your RPMs up higher. Uh, that was actually really handy uh, related to the corners. The rest of the time I just turned it off because I actually preferred the smaller or the smoother suspension. It was a lot more comfortable. The uh, the wing, I start playing around with that, you can lift up the rear wing. This, has the automatic wing that will adjust up and down as the as the speeds, but you can manually override it, and you can definitely tell it holds the the back end a little a little harder to the ground. You know, I didn't play with it more than about 60 to 80 miles an hour, and it you know it's different. I don't think I needed it, not at that speed on the roads I was on, but you could definitely tell it was holding the road uh, a little harder. So overall, pretty good. Um, I still think this is the best road trip car you can have. Uh, the heated seats, the comfort, I got the, the seats set right where I like them. Cruise control going half the time if I'm on the big open roads. I'm country road driving through the corners now, so I keep that on with cruise control off. But just hustling. If you need a pass car, as you step on it, and it just flat goes. Um, fine, I did find that driving all day with the heated seats on low helped. Uh, I got out of the car got out and walked around, did a little sightseeing, and uh, every time I did it, I just was not as stiff um, without driving it. So if you're looking for a good road trip car, make sure that you uh, you got that, you need good tunes, you need comfortable transmission. In this case, I like the automatic. Need the seats. We had the top down earlier today as we're running around the pier down at Crescent City and running around along the ocean. That was kind of fun too. All right, Acme Garage, thanks for listening. Check in next time.